Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties, and today we're going to talk about the new kerning feature in Cricut Design Space. So first, we'll talk about what is kerning, and second, we'll talk about how to use it. Okay, so kerning is in reference to text. Um, it is a feature that works mainly with script text. So you can see I've got my word here, kerning, and it's all connected like we would normally want to connect it. I'm going to delete this and we're going to start from scratch to show you how this function works. So you're going to come over here and select your text. Um, let's type in crystals crafties. Okay, so you can see that everything is already all connected. Now previously, before Cricut introduced kerning, it wouldn't have looked like this. It would have looked something more like, let me show you, this. The letters would not be connected. And you would have to come in here and either manipulate the letter spacing up here, or you would have to ungroup this and physically move each character to get them where you wanted them to be. And then when you were done, you would have to come in and select everything and weld it together. And that's how you would do your fonts before kerning. Well, now we've got this magical feature. So again, let's put in our text. And let's change the font. So there's a few different options that you have up here for your fonts. You can come with all fonts. You can use everything that you have ever uploaded, everything that was preloaded on your system, and everything that Cricut has. And you can say, show me only kerned fonts. And it will show you just the ones that have the optimized spacing. Or you can unclick this, and it will show you every other font that's in there that you know, it'll include the ones that have the optimized or kerned spacing, and it will have the ones that don't. So for this, let's go to Cricut, and let's go earn only kerned fonts, and let's pick out, how about this Annie Lou font? So it changed my font from the Annick that I had before, which was a font I've uploaded, um, and I put it into this Cricut font Annie Lou. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so you can see that the letters are all perfectly aligned. I don't have to move anything around. Um, and it looks good to go. Now here's where the real magic comes in. You will never, ever, ever have a ruined project because you forgot to weld. This is already welded. Now I know it doesn't look like it. If you type it in and you leave it exactly the way Cricut kerned it for you, you can click make it. It's going to be huge. And you can see that it is all welded together. It will cut out welded. Your letters will not cut into each other. Now you can still manipulate these. You can ungroup and let's say that you do want the C to be a little bit closer so you're going to scooch these C's over. As soon as you do that, look over here in your layers tab. It separated everything out and if you go to make it now, it's a big mess. So the second that you move anything around, you do have to come back in, select everything, and weld again. But that's it. That's what the kerning does. It optimizes your spacing for you, and it welds it all together for you so that you don't ever have to worry about forgetting to weld again unless you come in and manipulate a few of the letters or some of the spacing, and then you will have to weld it. But that's it, guys. That is so awesome. All right, we'll see you next time.